Welcome to Creating Clarity and Action in Your Career. To begin, I'd love for you to have a notebook and a pen somewhere where you will not be interrupted and get yourself some coffee, tea, or water, just whatever you need to be comfortable and have no distractions. Turn off your phone, clear your mind, take a couple deep breaths if that will help you. I want you to give yourself this time. It's a gift for you and you are so worth it. I want you to be here and be present with me so you can get the most out of it. So why are you here? My guess is you have a desire to make things better in your life. You may not know how to do that or you may not know what to do next, but you do have a belief that things can be better and you just need the right map. You need the right direction, the right actions to take, maybe the right ideas. And so we are together for a reason. And if this is why you're here, then what I want you to do is envision the life that you want. It can totally be your reality and we will create it together. I will let you know what to expect as we work through this mini workshop here, this webinar, but I want you to know it is possible and it can be your reality. So to get started in the first part of this webinar, we're going to create, we're going to clarify what is your goal. We'll brainstorm, I'll give you a brainstorm exercise that you'll be able to do on your own. And you're going to know why. You're going to know why is it so meaningful to you. This is a very important part of the process. So part two is elevate. To elevate your goal into reality, which includes marketing, it includes the right success plan. To know what you're doing next. And I'll explain what ta-da means. And I will help you get empowered. And I want you to build a team around you, overcome any obstacles. I want you to have some tools to get through any obstacle that comes up. And we'll talk about worldview. That was in part three. Part four is moving forward. I have an awesome, incredible offer for you, a free gift, and we'll close. I'll let you know how we can stay in touch, tell you about our private Facebook group if you're not already on it. Thomas Edison said, discontentment is the first necessity to progress. I love this quote so much because to me, it means that our unhappiness is actually the key to success and to progress. It is something that tells me that our pain has a purpose. So no matter where we're starting from, wherever we want to be, the discontentment of wanting things to be better, that's not a problem. That's a signal, but it's really a wonderful signal. That means that you're in a position to write your next chapter, to create your destiny. I love it. If somebody isn't un- if somebody isn't happy, one of my clients and we really get into it. I actually get excited when I hear this. So I want you to get comfortable. If you're not happy in one or more areas of your life and have acceptance and love around that. My promise to you is that if you are ready and you're willing to take some action, you will succeed. This is what I do. I'm going to coach you as much as I can through this short workshop, and we're going to get right into it now with clarifying your goal. What is it that you want to do? The best thing to do, whether you are clarifying your bigger goal or your life purpose or what it is that you're supposed to be doing next, maybe you already own a business and you just don't know how to make it more successful, you want to scale your business, we're going to brainstorm. I want you to consider what it is that you want to do, what 
you'd like to achieve, and this could be short term or just in your life in general, in what you want to have. This could be in many different areas of your life, relationships, career, fun, leisure, money, your financial situation, personal growth, spiritual, health, body, wellness, nutrition. So I want you to consider, take a few deep breaths. What do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? And what do you want to have? Now I want you to just write down whatever comes to mind. Don't second guess, don't edit, just write down everything that comes to mind. Now on your own, I want you to trust that you, in such a brief moment of time, you've written down exactly what you needed to write down right now. But on your own, what I'd like for you to do is continue this exercise. This brainstorming exercise can happen at all times, anytime. I personally recommend it no more than every 90 days because just to pick one thing and just stay focused on it, if at the only thing that comes out of that is the success of creating that goal, whether or not it's what you want to do with the whole rest of your life, the success in reaching a goal that you've created for yourself gives you a sense of accomplishment and there's benefits to it. It gives you the focus that's required. So whether or not this is ultimately what you want to do, trust what you've written down and I want you to prioritize now. Next to each goal, write the number one, three, five, or 10. And this refers to the number of years you have to achieve this goal, excuse me, that you hope to have achieved this goal. And like I said, what we're going to do is pick one goal just for the purpose of this exercise today. But what I'd really like for you to do is stay focused on this goal for the next 90 days. You can pick more than one goal, but what I'd really like for you to do is not overthink it. Don't overanalyze, just go with it. And like I said, at the very least, you are going to have such a great sense of accomplishment and want to achieve more. And what happens as you begin to have focus and you have a goal and you accomplish that goal, then you set new goals and then you set more goals and you start being of bigger service to our world and you live a life of meaning and purpose. You're never stuck in one thing. You can always come back to this exercise, but don't overthink it because I want you to see how possible things are. And when we just stick with something, you get to see what that persistence does for you. And then it can change. Usually we, we always need to revisit this every three months, every 90 days. Create a new success plan for yourself. 90 days goes really fast and a lot happens and a lot transforms and changes in 90 days. That's why it's important to stay within a short period of time rather than looking ahead for the whole entire year or five or 10 years down the road, which is great. But as far as creating a success plan, we want to focus on where you're at right now. So you can select three goals that you'd like to focus on at this time in your life. But for, again, the purpose of this exercise, pick one goal. And now we're going to determine why this particular goal is meaningful to you. What experiences would you like to have if you had more money or your life was better or you had more freedom. If this goal was realized, what is that going to give you? But why is that important to you? So instead of just having more time or freedom or money, go a little deeper than that. What feelings are you striving for? What does this sense of accomplishment give you? Would you travel more? Where would you want to go? Who would you want to spend your time with? And what do you want to share with others? 
So I want you to consider these questions. I want you to know why this is so meaningful to you and just jot down whatever comes to mind first. Now I'm going to share a test. It's a simple test for you. And again, these exercises are meant to be life tools for you. And so while we're briefly going over them now, and, and I want you to dive into whatever comes up and, and trust the process, you can again use this throughout your life. So this particular exercise is called the rocking chair test. And what the rocking chair test is, is you are 80 something years old and you're sitting on a beautiful porch somewhere, maybe overlooking, for me it's overlooking Montana mountains and just a huge beautiful sky with the sun starting to set and just God's majesty and it just truly feels so wonderful to be sitting there and I'm rocking back and forth in that rocking chair and I've accomplished this goal. How does that make me feel? Am I, do I feel better about my life that I accomplished that? Does it make me feel so good and proud of the life that I led by accomplishing this goal? So also ask yourself why at this moment in time from this perspective, why is it so important to you? Why is it meaningful? So that's a great test to do and to be able to really know what you're spending your time on. Our days turn into years, turn into a lifetime, and we don't want to waste any more moments. This life is the one that you have, and what are you doing with it? And you can start right now, but I want to make sure that what you're doing is important to you, and it's not for anyone else, or it's not for any superficial reason. And yes, if you want to create, you want to be a millionaire, that's great, but there's more purpose and meaning to that desire. And that's what I want you to discover. There's nothing, there's everything is right with wanting more money and more time and more freedom or more travel. Everything is perfect with that. But I want you to get deeper and know what's beyond that for you. What is that giving you? So your purpose is in this test. So when we know who we are and what we do and what we offer to people, who it is we're offering this to, and what this helps them do, like what outcome does this give your clients? These are all very important questions and ultimately give you a sense of true deeper satisfaction and your life purpose. So to summarize, we clarified your goal, brainstormed, you're going to take time to write down at least 50 or more ideas, prioritize them, pick one goal for right now and know why it's so meaningful to you. Even if it's not perfect, we're just going to move forward. And everything starts with a first step. And as I said, once you actually you do these things, you've picked a goal, it might not be perfect, what happens is you start, the universe will start to reveal more to you. So even if that goal is not perfect, you're into action, you're, you're doing it, you're getting a sense of accomplishment, <clears throat> and then what happens is more is revealed and you open up a channel of creativity and flow and things that become more meaningful. And that's what I want for you. So now we're going to elevate your goal into reality. So I am a big believer in marketing and what marketing is and what it can do for you is it connects you with other people. It connects you with your client. And marketing in some ways is maybe doing your website or creating a business card or design of some kind and branding. All of these things are very important for any business. However, what truly affects your bottom line, your profitability, and your success is talking to another person about what you do for people, what your product is, what your service is. And for many people, many entrepreneurs, 
it takes us out of our comfort zone. So what I'd like to do is just a visualization exercise. I want you to close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. So you have this goal and it's a great goal and you need to create success. You need to figure out what path you need to take. Who can you call? Who can you meet? Can you have coffee with somebody? Who can you talk to? Is there a company that you can get in touch with? Is there someone who's doing what you do already or what you want to be doing and they're doing it successfully? Can you ask them to go out for coffee? Are there clients out there that gather in groups, whether they're online or you can do, I personally love Meetup. Meetup is an amazing organization where you can gather people for free or for fee and usually they are a target market for you. So speaking and speaking engagements are very powerful. I want you to write every idea down. I personally keep notebooks everywhere, my purse, my bedroom, my office, my living, you know, I just have notebooks and pens available because really once this flow starts, you have to do something with your ideas. If you have an idea and you wait more than five seconds, you could either forget your idea or talk yourself out of it. So there's a lot that can happen if you let time go by. So the importance of writing down every idea, no matter what it is, because if you're going into a visualization or a meditation, you're going to give yourself a few moments to try to channel. I always like to channel and ask God or the universe, please help me brainstorm. Help me come up with ideas that will be great for getting my product or service into the lives of the clients who need what I'm offering. And then you just channel and you write things down and whether or not you actually do any of these things, you're in a flow and that flow will continue for you. Sometimes you just need to put pen to paper. That is the action you're taking. You're doing a physical action to honor the messages you're getting. And some things are very um, logistic or factual, like I could tell you, okay, do this, do this. I can talk to you about who to go speak to and where you can go speak, or I can give you an email template for CEOs of a company, or we can discuss great brainstorming marketing strategies. But in general, this is your business, your uniqueness, your creativity, and I want you to get in touch with the power that's available to you. So we're going to create a success plan. In a success plan, I don't know if you remember me saying at the beginning of this workshop, we talked about 90 days. That's an important amount of time because going too far ahead, too much can change. Things start to unfold, more is revealed, things transform and change as you're in action. If you're just sitting on your couch all day, every day, watching soaps, eating bonbons, which is great for like maybe like a day or two, maybe three days, but if you're actually living your dreams. It's awesome. It can be scary as hell, but you are in it. You are in the breath of life. And in that flow, things happen. Your life will begin to transform. And so I want you to close your eyes and imagine it's 90 days in the future. So what does that look like? Imagine that you're looking at yourself in your bathroom mirror one morning, you're brushing your teeth, and you have just, even first thing in the morning, you just have the most beautiful glow and twinkle in your eye because you nearly jumped out of bed because you're so excited because your life is on fire right now. You were taking all these actions and now like you're seeing these results. You've overcome blocks and obstacles. You are seeing success in your business, in your life, and it's just it's so fulfilling. So what does that look like? Do you carry yourself differently? What has happened in your life or your business that looks different? 
So is it that you, let's see, you got a corporate account, you're a contractor or your business offers something and you had an idea for working with certain companies and now that product or that service is being offered on a really big group level. Or you are speaking and you're actually getting paid to be a speaker or that book that you wanted to write you've completed writing it. It is possible to complete a book in 90 days. So if that's one of your goals, think about that. So what needs to happen in 90 days to get to that point? And the best thing to do is think about what has happened in three months. Who have you called? Who have you met with? What transactions have taken place? And write all those things down. And then you're going to step back to 60 days. So in order to be even prepared for those successes that have happened in 90 days, what needs to happen in 60 days? Maybe you needed to contact that company, or maybe you needed to make sure that all of your product, that you have the inventory, or your website is up and running and there's a shopping cart on it, so people are actually buying some product and you're hitting your goals. And I want you to step back to 30 days. So in 30 days, what needs to happen so that you're set up to enter your 60 day mark? So those calls that needed to be made, think back even a step before that. Did you need to draft an email or did you need to have a script for when you call people? Did you need to post it on your Facebook page? Think of anything that needs to happen in 30 days so that you are set up to enter that 60-day mark. And what I like to call, ta-da, this is your daily to-dos. And you don't have to do anything. You get to do what you love. And When you look at the 30-day, just look at that 30-day, what those actions were. Then I want you to plan your week ahead. So break it down week by week. You have four weeks. Usually in the month, I want you to break it down. And each day, think of what you can do. I don't care if you have 15 minutes in your day or you have six hours to spend on your business. What I want you to do is spend that time efficiently to be effective and to be successful, which means connecting with other people. Each day before you begin your marketing actions, brainstorm, channel, and ask. Do a little meditation, a little visualization. Ask for some guidance. You will be so much more effective by asking for guidance rather than just in your own brain alone brainstorming. So whether you're, you know, being creative with a business partner or somebody that's inspiring to you and you're taking a walk or you are channeling through God or the universe or you are listening to music and singing loudly in your car, like just when things come to you before you start your work day, I want you to brainstorm how you can best spend your time for this day, for this time that you have. Write everything down and then just start checking things off. And then revisit this success plan every 90 days. Just revisit it. You're going to want to update things and change things. Things just will be better. They'll be different. And I just want you to be consistent. Even if you literally just have 15 minutes each day, that's it. That's all you need to create success in your life. It's just being consistent. Celebrate your success because any small success is actually a part of your bigger success. And we can easily diminish or dismiss some thing that seems minor or maybe came out of left field and, well, they didn't really mean to call my business. They thought I was someone else's. But you got the client, didn't you? So remember that the universe rewards action. I just heard this in a group that I led uh, two weeks ago. I was in Connecticut, and I love 
that. I think I've heard it before, but I, I can never forget this now. The universe rewards action. And I always considered it to be a karmic energy. So if you go out and you market to different companies, so you go visit different companies during the day, you may not get a call back from any one of those companies. But I promise you, because of your efforts and your action, you're telling the universe that you're willing to take action, the universe will respond. And you will see things. Your phone will ring. You will get business coming in, even if it seems like it's from some other source. It's from you and your source and from what supplies you with your beauty and uniqueness and creativity. That is the world that you create. So just don't doubt big things, little things, anything. Celebrate all of your successes. And I want you to celebrate with others and get through the tough times with others. So now I'm going to talk to you about part three in this workshop, which is empowerment. So building your team. I want you to think of success stars. Who is doing what you'd like to be doing and they're successful at it? Who is a high level thinker? Who inspires you? Where can you get support from? If you're lucky, you may have friends already and maybe your family. That's if you're lucky. But chances are you do need to create your community. You need to seek out like-minded people. We have an amazing Facebook group. It's a private group called Your Life Designed. And I mentioned Meetup before if you were going to do some speaking events or something like that. But Meetup is great for like-minded people to gather together. And what you want to do is not surround yourself with negative thinkers or people with negative mindsets or scarcity or poverty mindsets. It's important to really surround yourself with inspiring people, inspiring friends. So we're going to talk next about how on your own you can overcome any obstacle that comes up. There is an amazing book by Mel Robbins and I read it a while ago, um, probably about two months ago, actually. So it wasn't that long ago, and I just loved it. I've been spending my whole life getting through obstacles, overcoming things left and right, and I just, whatever the problem is, I just prefer to focus on the solution. I don't want to get into the problem. I want to get into the solution. And that helps me. And not that I never have dissected a problem or gone to therapy or did the internal work. I mean, I always have to do that type of work, but as far as some day-to-day -day stuff or fear, I need to be in the solution. So I've used my own techniques and certain things, literally just do it, or you take contrary action. So if you're feeling like you don't want to go out or you don't want to go to this network meeting or you don't want to do this, put on your shoes and you just step out the door. You take a physical action and you, if I didn't want to go running, I put my sneakers on. If I don't want to do yoga at home where I have my two babies and usually they're crawling on top of me when I'm doing it and it's like, it's chaotic, it's fun, but it's like, eh, do I really want to do it right now? I lay out the yoga mat. That's all I need to do sometimes is one physical action. So one thing in her book, that is the main technique, it's called the five second rule, is saying to yourself, five, four, three, two, one, and then take the physical action. Something happens to the prefrontal cortex of your brain, which puts you into action. It removes this block that you're creating if you stay too long in your thought process and you do talk yourself out of it and it's just never going to happen. You, you want to, people that are successful show up. People that are successful feel the fear, but they do it anyway. And so this is what you do. Five, four, three, two, one, do it. Whether it's getting out of bed in the morning, whether it is walking across the room and saying, hello, my name is at an event where it's somebody that you'd love to meet. Somebody that maybe you just have a feeling it would be good to meet. You don't even know who the person is. We let fear stop us from doing everything. 
And what I want you to do is take physical action. I want you to just do it. And I want you to use techniques and do whatever you can to get through any of those obstacles that you're experiencing. Reframe negative thinking. So obstacles start in your mind. You need to create a powerful mindset. So come up with power statements. People call them affirmations. I call them power statements. They're positive power statements and we need them. Whether yours is similar to mine, such as, I am a badass. I'm a badass mom. I'm a badass businesswoman. I'm a badass speaker. That helps because that's a pretty powerful word to me. And and I actually had to search for that and get creative. And I remember my sister-in-law and I were in conversation once because I was feeling really kind of beat up. I was a stay-at-home mom and just like so tired and I felt disempowered. And together through a really beautiful conversation, we touched on that and I said, you know, I'm using that. And she got me for Mother's Day this year, a beautiful candle and she found it on Etsy and on the label of the candle it says, I'm a badass mom. Yeah. So that and in every other area of my life. So you have to just reframe your thoughts and you know, any disadvantage is your own doing. You're responsible for your thoughts. And if you can create a power mindset, You've done way more than the majority of women entrepreneurs out there, and this is what I want for you. I want you to start with your mindset so that you can create your greatest vision. It's so possible. And then exercise. Exercise is very important. So whether you do jumping jacks or you take a walk or a run or you do some yoga, sorry, um, there is... A power in clearing your head or getting more focus. So whatever it is that you have to do, just do a little exercise. And then also writing about it is great. So it takes what you are thinking about in circles. It's spinning circles literally in your mind. You put pen to paper. And what that does is makes it a linear thought. So instead of spinning around in your head, it gives it a beginning and an end. So consider writing. I like to write about a lot of things. And through writing also, you can come up with some good stuff. So if you have any desire to be a writer, that helps. The more you put pen to paper about other stuff, just keep writing. And then support. We talked about the support of inspiring and positive, motivating friends. Co- not Co-workers are important, but just certain people that you can seek out and foster those relationships. So we're going to talk about the world view. Why are you here? You do have a purpose. And when we are here to serve others, we are helping our success along the way. We're helping our sense of satisfaction and truly how we can help others and serve the world gives us bigger purpose. And so maybe you want to have a dog clothing line company. And what you'd really also love to do is start a foundation so that with the clothing that's bought, a certain amount gets put towards this foundation, or maybe dogs receive, you know, their vaccines or shots or whatever it is, um, my personal world feel good reason for why I do what I'm doing, what's, what makes me take it even further is because of my own childhood, I want every girl teenager to know that someone believes in them. I want them to have the tools for success. I want girls to know how valuable they are and how they can create an amazing life no matter where they come from, no matter what they've been told, no matter what they've been through. And that's important to me. And it helps me take my business, which I love, it makes me make it bigger and makes me strive for more. 
So it's just something to think about and I want you to really, really trust the process. This process shows up in different ways and like I said, some of the things that come in that look, they look good but you didn't even like, that's something that was a fluke. That's not true. Everything is here for your purpose and I want you to, if you have disbelief or you're not really quite sure about this or that, it's okay to feel those things, but just continue to trust the process. It's all leading you to your greatest good. Stay open to guidance. Trust messages that you get. Let creativity and love flow through your heart. These are very important and in being not only successful in business, but being deeply satisfied in your life. So moving forward, I'm going to tell you about a offer that right now is an insane offer. I have a VIP coaching membership. And once you sign up, for the membership, you have access to an online program. So it's a self-study. You also get to be in contact with me personally. And I do offer through this right now, just through the end of this webinar, a one complimentary full hour, uh, not discovery session, one full hour of coaching. And so there are many other awesome benefits and resources that you get through this VIP coaching membership. Just click the link and you'll find out lots more. There's a private group that we offer and everyone in the group is like you, that you really truly want to be better. You want to get support and be surrounded by amazing superstars. That's what this will do for you. And each month, you will get a personalized video response from me so that you will have whatever you're working on that month, you will be able to get coached and directed on what's the next best steps. And along with that, you'll also have access to all of the coaching videos that I post and publish. So this VIP coaching membership is usually $50 a month, but for right now, just through the end of this webinar, it's only $29 a month. And that's a lifetime offer, so you can cancel at any time. So if you choose to do this, now would be the time to do it. So if you're even thinking about it, now is the time to do it. And so for 10 minutes only, you'll have 40% off of this VIP coaching membership. And while the clock ticks, I'm going to just let you know a few things to expect if you've never worked with a coach before. So working with a coach for myself personally has always been an amazing experience and where you can get to your goal in one year maybe, it literally can take three weeks or three months. Like it is the time it takes to get to a goal. Achieving your goals happens so much faster. It's so much better and you have so much more joy through the process. You're not all by yourself and any successful person or super athlete, amazing athletes, they all have coaches. If you want to be the best at what you do, you need a coach. It'll improve your self-confidence and your assertiveness. When you focus on one area, all areas of your life begin to improve. Your priorities become more clear and the new goals appear. And like I said, and to me, one of the most important things is contributing to the world around you. It's just a natural progression of being successful and satisfied and making your own dreams come true. So this is what we have gone over today. We created a goal for you. We identified what it was and why it's so meaningful. We elevated this goal into reality, gave you the steps and the tools, techniques to be able to make this goal into a success 
in your life, visualizing where you want to be, creating your success plan. And then we empowered you. And we talked about how building your team and surrounding yourself with like-minded people or reaching out to people that are doing what you want to be doing successfully, connecting with those people, asking for help, overcoming everything and sharing your greatness with the world. I want you to get results. This is my dream for you. And this is what I do. And if you are interested, click on that link, sign up for the VIP membership. And I'm going to give you some free gifts that I spoke about. There is a template to email or call CEOs of companies. And I'm going to send this to, just for staying to the end of this workshop. I'm going to give you this free gift and you can use this directly to connect with the owners or the CEOs of any company or corporation. What will happen is sometimes they might not be the, re the best person to speak to about what you're reaching out for, but through the wording in this email, they will most likely respond to you or let you know, you know what, I think my HR, the head of HR would be the best person to talk to, so I just copied them into this email. You don't know, but it gives you the script. It's wonderful. The other thing I'm going to do is give you a visualization audio, and that's like having a life coach in your pocket. So whenever you need a boost or a lift or some inspiration, it's a visualization audio that I will send to you. So the VIP membership will be available for just a few more minutes. You can click on that link. I'm sure I think there's a countdown, a timer on that. And to stay connected, my private Facebook group is Your Life Design. So it's facebook.com slash groups slash Your Life Designed. And then socially, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Mrs. Becca Star. And my website is Becca Star. If you want to shout out and say hello or let me know what you got out of this workshop, I would love to hear from you. My email is hello at Becca Star. So Pablo Picasso, I'll end with this quote, is I begin with an idea and then it becomes something else, which is true progression and its evolution and its beauty and creativity and success and its growth. I want to thank you so much for being willing to share your unique greatness with the world. We need you. We need what you do. And you're taking steps to achieve your dream life. Thank you.